So here we have a quick demonstration of my catapult firing mechanism. We have a simple Arduino underneath at the bottom there going to a double tool extender board which breaks it out into an Ethernet shield and a prototyping shield. Uh, we then go through to a normal servo motor which as you can see I've rigged up a hook and eye system this is just connected via an elastic band just to give it something to pull on at the moment save having a catapult in the house and then following it back we've also got a serial LCD screen which shows us debug information and uh, other bits and pieces so as you can see this isn't connected to the computer at all via the USB this has only got power and Ethernet um, which is the way it should be I think so if we reset this you can see we get a DHCP address which is now obtained. A few uh, debug information just displays us the information that it's got via DHCP. Because we've got a DNS address, it uses that to set the DNS and then resolves a host name. And it'll bug <laughs> the first time you turn it on, it fires the catapult. So 54321 and then pulls the pin out and releases it. To reset it back together, We've got a little button down here to use. To reset and to uh, to trigger everything in there. So now if I get my mobile phone and you can see we've got a welcome message on there at the moment, oh thank you dog's body, which is the message I sent through last. So if we now send the new message Three. Wait for it to do its funky stuff. And here we go. Firing catapult. Five, four, three, two, one. And pulls the pin out. 